Greetings Beaver Dam senior class and other special guests viewing our scholarship and senior recognition program. Rewind to the start of the 2019-20 school year. No one would have imagined having this ceremony in this fashion. However, I'm pleased to be able to bring this program to all of you virtually. The class of 2020 has certainly triumphed and deserve all the recognition we can afford to them. I would like to thank all of our donors who have continued their commitment with scholarships through this very tough time. All of the people working behind the scenes to make this program possible. The BDHS Scholarship Committee for all their hard work with reviewing scholarships and working with donors throughout this new process. To all our teachers, staff, coaches, and advisors for their ratings and letters of recommendations. Lastly, but certainly not least, our seniors for their patience and understanding with all of the adjustments relating to all things seniors this year. You are all truly demonstrated that you have grit and determination to get through this. I applaud all of you. To kick off our presentation, I would like to introduce our guest speaker, Mr. Phil Boyd, founder of Learning for Living. He was the founder of Link Crew, which BDHS has used for many years to help transition students to high school and provide leadership opportunities for upperclassmen, of which many of our senior class have been a part of. This past year, Phil spent two days working with our high school and DSLA staff to build upon our school culture. I have known Phil for a few years now and have worked with him on a couple of school projects. He inspires me as a leader to continue to grow and develop. He has been a person I have gone to in times of need to help me deal with challenges. I felt it fitting to send him an invitation to address our senior class for this prestigious occasion. I hope you enjoy his message and thank you for tuning in this evening to view this presentation. Beaver Dam class of 2020, man, I am so excited to speak to you guys tonight. Absolutely. I mean, when Mr. Tronson asked if I'd speak to you guys, I thought I'd love to take you back to fifth grade. I mean, you guys remember fifth grade recess and the worksheets and, and that girl that invented the note? Yeah, some girl, I don't know, maybe it was you, created a note, filled it out, passed it down, the, give it to him. Some fifth grade boy opens it up and it says, if you love me, check the box. And he's like, I don't love girls. But then he looked down at you and you're like, hey, and he checked it off and then the fun started because everybody wanted to know what does it say. Some of y'all remember eighth grade romance. Remember dating somebody for like two hours and then you broke up? Some of you are looking at your friend right now because you're watching this together. You're like, I don't remember when you dated her, when you dated him and high school crush. I mean, guys, think about it. High school, when you have a crush in high school, you know where they are at any moment. If you're in a lunchroom, she's right there. If you're in class, he's right there. And you're looking at your friend like, do not tell them. And it's so fun to look at these memories. And then I want to stop and think, well, what? As we look at the memories, can we turn around and look forward a little bit? Because one of the things Mr. Tronson said he said, this class is really unique in the sense that when they came to our school, the school was under construction, so they had to persevere through. That was tough. He said, now they're ending their high school career, and, and they're having to do it alone. They're having to do it virtually. And, and I thought, yeah, that is. He said, one of our core values is perseverance. And I thought about that, and I thought, you know, how do we find that sense of perseverance? And there's two words that seem pretty similar. One is resilient. When you're resilient, the other is relentless. How are they different? Well, when you're resilient, you go through something, you're like, I can take this, and you just stand firm and psh, psh, psh. maybe you're walking home in a rainstorm. Maybe you're going through an illness. Maybe something's going on, you're in a class, it's really tough, and the, the teacher and you don't get along, and you're just like, I'm going to bite my lip and get through it. But when you're relentless, you have a goal that you're working towards. There's something that matters to you. And while you're going through all this, you keep moving forward. Well, our challenge to you guys as you graduate is be relentless. Be relentless. Figure out something that matters to you and just keep working towards it. Sometimes slow, sometimes fast. I mean, that's what we've had to do through this COVID-19 is we just had to say we're going to graduate. We don't know how we're going to learn, but we're going to figure it out. Well, three things I, I was thinking about is you want to be relentless. Number one, find something that matters to you and, and work on it. I mean, when my son was younger, I said, what do you want to be when you grow up? He said, dad, I'm going to be a pro baseball player. 
In high school, he said, Dad, I changed my dream. I want to be an Olympic runner, a miler. He was a gifted runner in high school. And then he got on to college. He had the opportunity to run in college. But he says, no, my dream is to be a, a world-class videographer. I went around the world taping film and commercials and people doing great stuff. And today, that's what he does. He's a world-class videographer. And I asked about it. He said, Dad, what kept me going is I always had something that I wanted to do. So as you think about being relentless, pick something. Maybe it's something simple right now. You, you, you're not ready to go to college. You're just like, hey, I'm just going to get a job for a year or two. Great. Pick a job and do the best you can. Something like, I want to go in the military. Good. Get in the military. Give it your best. Get promoted. If some of you are like, I'm going to university. I know where I'm going. Awesome. Pick a major and keep towards that until you change the major or until you graduate. But the deal is find something that you think matters to you and work on it until you change your mind. Second thing is bring great energy. Energy is so important. See, what do you give your energy to? See, if you give your energy to your best, you walk on that job every day and you have a good attitude and you bring good energy, you're helpful, guess what? They're going to promote you. If you have good energy in college, guess what? You sit towards the front of class, you're answering questions, you're doing your homework. Guess what happens? You, you get the grade. And if you're in the military, imagine the promotions you're going to get with energy. See, sometimes we give our energy to the wrong stuff, to other people's drama. And some of you have learned, you get caught up in someone else's drama, you don't get to Fix it. You just get to get caught up in it. Some of you have given your energy to video games. Okay, so you do an hour or two. Big deal. But when you spend 12 hours on Saturday playing a video game or on TikTok. Yeah, so number one, pick something that matters to you that you want to do. Number two is find a way to give great energy. And number three, develop a network. A network of people who make you better because you're with them. A group of people that you make better because you bring value to their life. Ask your parents, your grandparents, your favorite teacher, your boss. Who are the three or four people who are in their network that make them better? I think about the people in my life who every once will say, Hey, Phil, are you getting to the gym? Are you watching your diet? Are you doing the learning? See, I, I, I sometimes I, I say I would, but well, they kick me in the wood butt. You know, when I say I would get to the gym or I would eat better, I want people to hold me accountable to help me get better. But I also want people that I can share my hurt with. See, when Stuart Scott was giving his final speech as an ESPN color commentator, he said, I have cancer in my body. And sometimes I just need to cry. And he said, I have a sister. When I call, she lets me cry. She doesn't try to fix it. She doesn't try to answer it for me. She just lets me have those emotions. Are you the kind of person when someone calls, you don't have to fix it. You just allow them to be in that emotion. Are you the kind of person who, when you reach out to somebody, there's two or three people that are in your network. See, that's what I want. I want people in my network that push me to help me get better, but they also support me when I'm going through something hard. Because if we're relentless, we're going to go through harder stuff. We're going to have to keep moving towards it. So three things. Pick something that matters to you that you want to do. Playing a guitar, getting a job, whatever. Number two, bring great energy to that. And number three, develop a network of people that make you better and that you pour in their lives to make them better. Because see, when you look back on high school, you're like, we have been relentless. One of our core values is a sense of perseverance. And we've done that from the moment we walked on this campus and now as we walk off. So to class of 2020, we wish you well. And we just hope you look back on your years here as years have prepared you for life. All the best. To lead off our evening tonight, I am pleased to present the Badger Conference Top Scholar Awards to the following Beaverdam High School seniors. Our first recipient is Abby Kisau. Tyler Pamperin. Robin Carpenter. Nicholas Jansen. Connor Foster. Nathan Stafford, Sydney Wolfgram, Morgan Nelson, Elora White, Elise Zaz. They will each receive a plaque like this that we will get to at a later date. Congratulations 
to the Beaver Dam High School top scholars. I'm Cheryl and Harry Salzer. And we're proud to present the Allen N. Salzer Memorial Scholarship to Adam Butler. My name is Mark Furtick and I'm representing the Ultimus Pazine family. I'm honored to present the Ultimus Pazine Science Award to Megan Tuck. I'm honored to present the Ultimus Pazine Science Award to Braden Bowman. This is Miss Hill, and I'm representing the American Association of University Women Scholarship. This year's winners are Sydney Hawker and Evelyn Yee. Congratulations! My name is John Othout, President and CEO of American Bank. I'm honored to present the American Bank of Beaverdam Scholarship to Madison Schwartz. And from all of us at American Bank, congratulations to the class of 2020. My name is Stephanie Buss, and I'm representing the Arthur G. Heimler Memorial Scholarship. I am honored to present the Arthur G. Heimler Memorial Scholarship to Emily Schliesman. I'm Wendy Gazdek. On behalf of the Beaver Dam Scholarship Committee, it is my honor to present the BDHS Endowment Scholarship to Jack Jens and Chloe McQuinn. Congratulations. My name is Betsy Ramsdale, and I'm here representing the Beaver Dam Education Association. Every year, we award two seniors a scholarship uh, if they are children of members. This year, the first recipient of our Beaver Dam Education Scholarship is Spencer Booth. And the second recipient of our scholarship is Annalise Streblo. My name is Alan Mantle. I'm representing the Beaver Dam Fire and Rescue Department. I am honored to present the Beaver Dam Fire and Rescue Department scholarship to our very own Brennan Bushke. Hello, my name is Mark Barrett and I'm representing the Beaver Dam Lions Club. I am pleased to present the Beaver Dam Lions Club scholarships to Christiana Burheit and Kylie Hub. Hello, my name is Mark DiStefano and I am representing the Beaver Dam Noon Kiwanis Club. I am honored to present this year's Beaver Dam Noon Kiwanis Club Scholarship to Maya Marone. Congratulations, Maya. Hi, my name is Nate Wilkin. I'm representing the Beaver Dam High School Scholarship Committee. I'm proud to announce the Beaver Dam Optimist Club Doug Randall Memorial Scholarship to Kaylee Goss and the Beaver Dam Optimist Club Harry Timmy Memorial Scholarship to Maggie Weedler. Hi, my name is Nate Wilkin. I'm representing the Beaverdam High School Scholarship Committee. I am pleased to present the Beaverdam Rotary Club Scholarship to Dietrich Jekyll and to Elizabeth Fogarty, who attends Whalen Academy. Hello, my name is Mark DiStefano, and I am representing the Beaverdam Unified School District Administrative Team. I am very proud to present this year's Beaverdam 
Unified School District Administrator's Scholarship to Annie Friedel. Way to go, Annie. My name is Anne Marie Malkovich, and I am representing the Beaver Dam Women's Club Art Scholarship. I am pleased to present this year's Beaver Dam Women's Club Arts Scholarship to Kylie Mullenbach and Jessica Schneider. Hello, my name is Peter Dusterbeck and I am representing Brewer Metal Craftsman. I am honored to present the Brewer Metal Craftsman Scholarships to Jeffrey Bemis and Adam Chase. Congratulations. Hi, this is Nate Wilkie representing the Beaverdam High School Scholarship Committee. It's an honor to present the Burgess Norton Manufacturing Corporation Amstead Industries Foundation Scholarship to someone I have known and coached for over 10 years, Broden Boschert. My name is Pete Warwick and I am representing Cheese Wheel. I am happy to present the Cheese Wheel Achievement Scholarship to Brenna Tunn and Axel Salazar Baeza. Hello, my name is Dean Miller. I'm happy to be representing a group of close friends from the class of 1982, known as the Meadow Muffins. In high school at BDHS, we were a crew of 17 students from diverse backgrounds, with a variety of interests, who bonded over creating and having fun. We enjoyed including others in our activities and also enjoyed helping people when we could. And that community-minded spirit is something we still share today. Although we've lost four of these dear friends over the years, the rest of us and our families remain close, and we feel privileged to contribute to this scholarship. I'm honored to present the Class of 82 Meadows Scholarship to Avery Saucerman. My name is Stephanie Buss, and I'm representing the Countryside Auto Group Scholarships. I am pleased to present the Countryside Auto Group Scholarships to Ethan Koopmans and McKenna Schwartz. Hi, my name is John Casper, and I am representing the Debbie Ullman Scholarship. I am very proud to present the Debbie Ullman Scholarship to Jessica Dre. Hi, my name is John Casper, and I am representing the Debbie Ullman Scholarship. I am very proud to announce and present the Debbie Ullman Scholarship to Ashley Hale. My name is Patrick Lutz, and I'm representing the Dodge County Historical Society. I'm honored to present the Dodge County Historical Society Scholarship to Max Herman. And Greta Senhen. Hello, I'm Peter Dusterbeck, and I'm representing the Masons of Dodge County Lodge number 72. It is my pleasure to present the Dodge County Lodge number 72 Masonic Scholarship to Summer Salatel. Congratulations. My name is Pete Dusterbeck, and I'm representing the friends and family of the late Donald Spielman. I am proud to present the Donald Spielman Memorial Scholarship to Alexia Alvarez. Congratulations. My name is Pete Warwick, and I am representing Family Youth Interaction Community Services. I am happy to present 
the Family Youth Interaction Community Services Christy Schwant Memorial Scholarship to Marissa Monroe. My name is Pete Warwick and I am representing George and Phyllis Treemstra. I am happy to present the George and Phyllis Treemstra Memorial Scholarship to Kristen Yehurka. Hello, this is Miss Hill and I'm representing the Gilbert H. Cook Memorial Scholarship. I'm happy to announce Trevor Bentz has won the scholarship. My name is Nate Wilk and I'm representing the Beaverdam High School Scholarship Committee. It is my pleasure to present the Green and Gold Scholarship to Jillian Strzeski. Hi, my name is John Casper and I am representing the Holly Summer Fitzpatrick Memorial Scholarship. I am pleased to honor and present the Holly Summer Fitzpatrick Memorial Scholarship to Zachary Schamberger. My name is Stephanie Buss and I'm here representing the Horicom Bank Scholarship. I am pleased to present the Horicom Bank Scholarship to Ella Bale. My name is Stephanie Buss and I'm here representing the James Griesbach Scholarship. I am pleased to present the James Griesbach Scholarship to Robin Carpenter. I am Mitch Kuhn. I am representing my family and late wife, Karen Kuhn. I am honored to present the Karen Kuhn Memorial Scholarship to Andrew Wallace. Good evening, I'm Wendy Gasek. I'm representing Kirsch Foundry. I am very happy to announce the winners of the Kirsch Foundry Incorporated Scholarship, Mackenzie Bleese and Asia Lindner. Congratulations. Hi, my name is John Casper, and I am representing the Matthew T. Gall MD Memorial Scholarship. I'm happy and honored to present the Matthew T. Gall MD Memorial Scholarship to Elise Zaz. My name is Russ Tronson, your principal here at Beaver Dam High School, and I am representing the Milburn C. and Catherine C. Kane Memorial Scholarship. I am happy to present the scholarship to Hannah Summercorn. Once again, my name is Russ Tronson, and I am representing the Mildred Elzer Arnsbrock Scholarship. And I am honored to present the scholarship to Maya Gartland. Hi, I'm Brian Weicker from Matera, Wisconsin, and I'm proud to present the Matera, Wisconsin Scholarship to Adriana Roberts. Hi, this is Miss Hill, and I'm representing the Monarch Scholarship. This year's winner is Faith Kepler. Congratulations! Hello, I'm Russ Tronson, and I'm representing the National Exchange Bank and Trust Scholarship. I am pleased to present the scholarship to Micah Alderin. Hi, my name is John Casper, and I am representing the Northwoods Commercial Properties Incorporated Scholarship. I am honored to present the Northwoods Commercial Properties Incorporated Scholarship to Kendall Witzke. Good evening, I'm Wendy Gazek and I'm representing Schumann Printers. I am ecstatic to share uh, the winners of the Schumann Printer Incorporated Scholarship, Nico Bradley and Yoshi Hernandez. Congratulations.
My name is Anne-Marie Malkovich, and I am representing the Student Exchange Scholarship. I am pleased to present this year's Student Exchange Scholarship to Brianna Krenz. Hello, I'm Russ Tronson, and I am representing the Swan Scholarship. I am honored to present the Swan Scholarship to Linnea Lurwick. and our second recipient of the SWAN Scholarship to Elijah Wilkie. My name is Mark Furtick and I'm representing Vintage Parts Incorporated. I'm proud to present the Vintage Parts Incorporated Scholarship to Alora White. I'm honored to present the Vintage Parts Incorporated Scholarship to Annika Nundorf. My name is Mark Furtick and I'm representing the Vrabic family. I'm honored to present the Vrabic Family Scholarship to Ian Went Utri. My name is Pete Warwick, and I am representing Walter and Lydia Schweitzer. I am happy to present the Walter and Lydia Schweitzer Memorial Scholarship to Dalton Nample. My name is Pete Warwick, and I am representing Women's Affiliate of the BD Area Chamber of Commerce. I am happy to present the Women's Affiliate of the BD Area Chamber of Commerce, Jean Boyer Memorial Scholarship to Aubrey Sager. And Isaac Sell. And Nora Boucher. Hello, my name is Robert Raddick. I am representing the Beaver Dam Elks Lodge. It is my honor to present the Elks National Foundation Aryan Honor Award to Annie Friedel. It is our honor to present the MYC Lions Memorial Scholarship to JC Gunder and Jocelyn Helmbrecht. My name is Mark Furtick and I'm representing the Durleith family. I am honored to present the H.H. Durleith Citizenship Award to Elijah Wilkie. Hi, my name is Diane Edwards and I'm here representing the PEO organization Chapter D of Beaverdam. I am honored to present the PEO Honor Award of Chapter D to Grace Medeiros. Hi, I'm Stephanie Ziegler, and I represent the Social Studies Department at BDHS. I am honored to present the Edgerton Scholarship to Chloe McQuinn. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to our kitchen counter here in Nina, Wisconsin. My name is Ron Schreier, and I am a proud member of the Beaverdam High School alumni class of 1963. As a class, we were pretty darned awesome. And one of the things that made us great was our spirited involvement in school life. As a class, we realized that our life and our involvement at the high school made it a better place for all of us. At our 50 year class reunion, we wanted to keep our legacy alive at Beaverdam High School. And one way to do that 
was to present Spirit Involvement Awards to Beaverdam High School students who have exhibited that during their years as students, and thus the creation of the Spirit Inspire Awards. We are now on, I think, approximately our seventh year of presenting this award to deserving students at Beaverdam High School. And one of the reasons that we really wanted this type of award to be presented, and one way to keep our legacy alive, was that we realized that spirit and involvement were essential, essential ingredients, not just in school life, but in life as a whole as well. And so we are confident that this year's two award winners will be two individuals who will very actively keep that spirit and involvement alive as they leave Beaverdam High School and pursue their dreams in life beyond the school walls. So you as a class have decided that these two individuals, a male and a female from your class, are deserving individuals of those awards. Those two individuals are, and I am very proud to present this year's Spirit Inspire Awards to Jada Donaldson, congratulations Jada, and to Brett Monkey, congratulations Brett. These two individuals are this year's 2020 award winners of the Class of 1963 Spirit Inspire Awards. Congratulations to not just you two, but are your entire senior class and best wishes for success in life after Beaverdam High School. Way to go, class of 2020. It is with great pleasure that I may present these Youth Apprenticeship Awards to Brian Avalos, Ella Beal, Christina Brown, Brandon Claudio, Ocean Connolly, Georgia Damro, Mariah Demney, Aliyah Deshawn, Connor Foster, Javier Herjong, Michael Kasparic, Allison Lins, Riley Nelson, Garrett Passwald, Jasmine Quasar, Jamin Raditz, Gabrielle Rennick, Armando Salazar, Matreya Schellpfeffer, Elliot Schmidt, Patrick Schuster, Evan Bachroth, Jacob Ward, and Dylan Wolf. Congratulations to you all. Wendy Gazek. I am happy to award uh, the Certificate for Successful Completion of Youth Apprenticeship Programs in Manufacturing and Transportation. The first uh, award recipient is Colin Karankowitz in the area of Manufacturing and Manufacturing Processes. Our second recipient, Travis Engel in Manufacturing Welding. Our third recipient
recipient this year, Carter Gansky in Manufacturing Welding. And our last recipient this year, Tegan McCormick in Transportation. Congratulations! My name is Becca Dressler, and I am re representing the Youth Apprenticeship Marketing Marketing Communications Certification. I am happy to present the Youth Apprenticeship in Marketing Marketing Communications to Delaney Sen. My name is Becca Dressler, and I am representing the Youth Apprenticeship in Animals. I am happy to present the Youth Apprenticeship Animal Certification to. Ethan Copemans, Emily Weber, and Dalton Nample. On behalf of the Beaver Dam Agri-Science Department, I am pleased to announce this year's Award of Excellence. The Award of Excellence is also known as the Lloyd R. Larson Award and goes to a senior that has excelled or done well in agricultural classes, the FFA, and supervised agricultural experiences. This year's award winner is Delaney Sen. Congratulations. Hello, my name is Kelly Dirks and I am representing the Art and Design Department. I am honored to present this year's Department Excellence Award to Jocelyn Helmbrook. Hi, my name is Russell Diggins and I'm proud to present the John Philip Sousa Band Award to Sydney Wolfgang. I'm Mrs. Pierce and I'm Mrs. Helgamo and we are pleased to award the Business and Marketing Department Excellent Award to Andrew, Andrew Powitz. Powitz. Hello this is Brock Lindy representing the Beaver Dam High School English Department. This year we would like to congratulate Rebecca Hose for being the recipient of the English Department Excellence Award. Congratulations. I am very proud to present the Family and Consumer Science Award to Matreya Shelfeffer. Hi, my name is Jody Franke and I am representing the Math Department. I am indeed honored to represent the Math Department and give the Math Department Excellence Award to Tyler Camperin. Hello, my name is Kyle Henriksen, and I am representing the Beaver Dam High School Orchestra program. I am honored to present this year's National School Orchestra Award to Alexander Breaker. Hi, I'm Kelly Rybrand. This year, the Health and Physical Education Department is totally fired up, giving our department award to Andrew Wallace. Congratulations, Walls. Hi, I'm Melissa Hemling, and I represent the Beaver Dam High School Science Department. I'm very pleased to um, present this award, our Science Department Excellence Award, to Abby Kiso. Hello, my name is Stephanie Ziegler and I represent the Beaver Dam High School Social Studies Department. I'm proud to present the Social Studies Department Excellence Award to Chloe McQuinn. Congratulations, Chloe. Good evening, I'm Wendy Gazdek. I represent the Technology and Engineering Education Department. We are very proud to present our Department Excellence Award this year to Dominic Kickert. Congratulations, Dom.
Hello, my name is Mark Lefebvre, Choral Director at Beaverdam High School. It is my honor to present the Vocal Music Department Award to Ashley Hale. Hello, I'm Jennifer Tunks and I'm representing the World Language Department. It is my honor to present our department's Award of Excellence to Nathan Stafford. Gratulations. Hi, I'm Principal Tronson, and I'm pleased to present the American Legion Auxiliary Johnny Miller Post 146 Female Athlete of the Year Award to Jada Donaldson. And I'm Ms. Gehring, Athletic Director, and I'm pleased to present the American Legion John E. Miller Post 146 Male Athlete of the Year Award to Broden Boschert. Congratulations. Hello everyone, Miss Gehring here. I'm going to give out a couple athletic department awards tonight. The first award we're giving out is the WIAA Scholar Athlete Award, and this year's awards go to Jada Donaldson and Eli Wilkie. Both of you will be getting a medal, just like this, from the WIAA. Congratulations. Our next awards are our Golden Beaver Character Awards. Those awards are given out by our department and our coaches. Those go to Grace Medeiros and Eli Wilkie. You will be getting medals that look just like this. <laughs> and our last award tonight goes to a person who has given a lot of himself to our programs over the years, um, not only through his high school career, but actually starting way back in middle school. He's dedicated a lot of time and energy to our programs. Uh, the BD Fam Spirit Sport Award goes to Mr. Andrew Wallace. You will also be getting this award. Congratulations to everyone. Congratulations to all of our recipients tonight. Please watch your email and or United States Postal Service mail for more information and details about your award and or scholarship. Thank you for tuning in to tonight's presentation. Have a good evening. <laughs>